colleagues, associates, and friends. Let me thank you very much. Uh, sometimes I begin to wonder whether I need to say anything to you. Because together, very many of you, we fought for the return of democracy to this country. We were, they said, the peace setters. And together, very many of you, we led one of the best governments in this country between 1999 to 2015. In other words, the PDP became a pace setter as far as good governance is concerned. From the bottom, economically, we took Nigeria to the biggest economy in Africa. From a crisis Nigeria, which we inherited in 1999 due to the misgovernance of the military cancellations and so on of elections, we took Nigeria to prosperity, to unity. And history has recorded us as having achieved that together. And then here we are today after APC has been in power for the past seven years. We have gone back even lower than 1999 when we came in. I think we have a responsibility. History has beckoned of us to come back. One is PDP. Two is those who played the role that all of us played individually and collectively to take Nigeria to the height that it achieved in 2015. Therefore, Your Excellencies, I believe that as a group, as colleagues, as contemporaries, we have a responsibility to rescue this country because we have done it before. If we have done it before, there is no reason why we cannot do it again. Therefore, Your Excellencies, I am here before you. I don't have to introduce myself. I don't have to say or repeat what we have achieved together. I think all what we need to do is to resolve, to rescue this country again, as we rescued it from 1999 to 2015. Of course, Many of you have uh, listened uh, to my declaration speech where I should listed five key areas that we all need to confront if Nigerians give us another opportunity to rescue this country, from unifying this country to returning security to again reviving our economy and also making sure that our educational system is strong and normal. And of course, to devolve powers to states and local governments. These are five key areas that I identified. Not that there are no other areas that should be looked into, but these are, you will find that if we restore the unity, we give every part of this country a sense of belonging we will now have peace. Today we don't have peace. No matter what part of the country we are, we don't have peace. But if we unify the country, we'll have peace. If we have peace, then we will now be able to deal with the economy. If we deal with the economy, we will create jobs, millions of jobs for our young men and women. And then we can now go to other sectors, you know of our economy and public life to deal with them. But first and foremost, we must unify this country, create peace. Because we found ourselves in the same position in 1999 when we came in. So we have the experience. And we are still alive. And we are still strong. 
Now, what kind of a country are we going to leave for our children? So, Your Excellencies, again, here we are. History has thrown challenges before us. It's up to us to rise and face those challenges. I want to, again, thank you very much, you know, for accepting to attend, you know, these very brief consultations. So, I thank you very much indeed, and God bless you all. As one, we can get it done.